Aussie Explorer also has the ability to turn your paper maps into Aussie Explorer maps and you need to first of all create a JPEG file or a BMP file, in other words it's a normal picture file of your uh, paper map and we can then show you how to turn it into an Aussie Explorer map. I've got Aussie Explorer open here and it's just blank, there's no map loaded and I'm going to go up to File and Load and Calibrate Map Image which is the fourth item down on the menu and I've got a couple of uh, maps already made here um, I've got one here from the Grampians which is just a uh, BMP, what they call a BMP file so it's just a high resolution copy of the Grampians and it's actually come off one of the um, Get Lost maps and I've just uh, got the image from that which are free maps online. Now the way to do it you can see when you open up uh, this uh, option to calibrate an image it comes up with a menu over on the right hand side it's nothing more than that an image and you can see it's got the grid lines on it and this one has markings the coordinates in what they call UTM so instead of uh, the uh, degrees and minutes you've got UTM markings on it and Aussie Explorer allows you to put those in and create the uh, the data points that the map can can use uh, the first thing you need to do is go over to the right hand menu and we'll set uh, point number one so if you click on point number one and bring this back here you can see that my cursor now is uh, got a little bullseye and a number one wherever I click that now it's going to drop a little target so you can drop it anywhere you like and it just keeps following you around the best thing to do we need to put four points on this map as reference points and coordinates so the easiest way to do that is to go top left hand corner top right hand uh, two at the top one at the uh, two at the bottom bottom left and bottom right so you've got top left top right bottom left bottom right and rather than have you don't if you're going to put four points on obviously you don't want to put four points down in the middle here you've got to give it some reference so we're going to go over and I'll just roll the mouse and if I hold the left mouse button down I can move around and roll the mouse wheel I can zoom in now here you've got your UTM markings uh, 631000 for your easting marking which is um, this line running north and south here okay all the way down so that that um, coordinate is the same for anything along this line and then you've got your what they call the northing markings 5890 and again triple zero and an N next to it now I'm going to put the first marking as close as I can to that intersection this one and this one here we're going to do the same with point two so if I go back over to the right hand menu and click on point two and again now you can see the cursors come up with a little number two next to it I'm going to drag the map across to the left so we get over into the right hand side here and I'm going to put one on a corner now there's some numbers right there so actually what we might do we might use this one here and I wheel in the mouse a bit more to try and get these as close as we possibly can there it is to the center of the target now hold the mouse button down and just get down into the bottom I'll just roll out a bit scroll out there we go we're down near the bottom corner and again we need to find an intersection of these coordinates and it'll be point three so if we click over to point three and we'll put that one we might put it down in this bottom corner down the bottom here again I'll just scroll in near as we can and now I'll go across to the opposite side and we'll put in point four and we'll use this one here okay so there they all are now got to be a little bit careful here. I don't want to click the mouse again because what will happen is if you look at point four it's going to move. Uh, it's not hard to put it back but you just don't want to make sure that you don't accidentally click on it and move it out of the, the spot that, where you want it. There's two little arrows up on the right hand side here so you can scroll. You can actually add more points. You can see if you keep scrolling you've got point five, six, seven, eight. You can put as many if you like um, but really probably four is, is sufficient. I'll just go back to the set up for a minute and my cursor now just turns into the arrow so I'm not going to disturb any of the points so 
I'll roll the mouse wheel backwards and you can see them now one two three and four near the borders of the map I will go back in and what we'll do is we'll click on point one and what we need to do is put the UTM coordinates which is the second box down here the first one you can use degrees and minutes if you've got uh, a map with degrees and minutes on it you can put them in here um, we've got UTM on this one so we'll use those so um, point one is there and we can tell I'll scroll in a little bit more that the easting mark is 631000 now uh, it needs a zone as well so the the world is divvied up into to zones and uh, I can tell you that this zone is 54 uh, you can easily find that on Google if I just uh, go back here a second and open up this uh, I've got a map here you can just get these from Google if you're unsure of the zone that you're in there's about I think seven, six or seven going across Australia uh, to give you uh, the zone for each area so there it is there the Grampians being Western Victoria down here in zone 54 uh, but if you're in WA you've got 50 and 51 and uh, 52 and South Australia a bit of 52 and 53 and a little bit of 54 so that's you can find those on Google if you just want to look uh, at any, any particular part you'll easily pick those up so let's go back to Aussie we're going to put in here zone we are in 54 now the easting is 631000 now what they call the northing we have to change this if this defaults over here to N you've got to change it to S because obviously we are in the southern hemisphere and the northing mark on this point here is this line here going right across 5890 and then 000 if you were using this uh, second um, easting line which has just got 632 just for convenience they leave out the triple zero um, but that line is actually you would if you were using this line you would put in 632000 the triple zeros are actually an indication of how far you are across this line before it gets to 633 over here so if you were just over to the right a little bit of this it would be 632 maybe uh, 020 or something like that and halfway it'd be zero uh, it'd be uh, yeah 500 so uh, as it goes across it just increases so the lines themselves are nice and easy using the triple zero it just as I say it just doesn't appear on here just for convenience in in the map but uh, the first ones on the corners have it uh, so we go to point two and if you click on point two up the top it actually automatically moves the map across so you've got point two there now we are here's one of the in question 639 and again we're at zone all the time zone 54 easting is 639000 and we've got uh, S on here which is fine and this one is 58 it's the same as the other one because it's on the same line across 5890 and then 300 so just keep in mind and it does it looks like you've got six digits here and you've got seven digits there and that's fine that's how it's supposed to be um, with ours because with the, you've got the 58 there and you've only got the 06 up here and the 0 doesn't need to be added we go down to point 3 click on that and it brings you down to point three which we put right down in the bottom corner so again zone 54 and it is six four zero 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 and another zero so six four zero and three zeros and five eight seven nine zero 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 and point four exactly the same easting is 631 and the north is 5879 now that's all we need to do the next step is to hit save and it brings up where would you like to save it it's going to call it I'll just call it uh, it's oh, that'll do Gramp, Grampians 25k image map hit save now it immediately takes you back 
to the map. So you've now got your created map. You can see as I move this uh, cursor around up in the top left hand corner here your uh, coordinates are changing as I move things around. You've got your degrees and minutes up here and then you've got your UTM markings here. The um, marks that we put in have disappeared so it just looks like and it is a normal Aussie Explorer map. If you wanted to check the coordinates or change it, you actually can go up to, and you can do this with any map that you've got now, you file, and this time check calibration of map. And it brings you back to the same menu we had before. You'll notice that point one, the markings are already in as we've saved them. So if you did find one that was a little bit out, you can go back and change it. And if we scroll back out again, there's the map with its four points. I'm just going to cancel back out of that because we don't want to save it, resave it. Now, I guess the thing is to find out uh, whether or not this, how accurate this is, how, in case you've put uh, something in incorrectly, um, just to make sure that everything's worked as it should. So, the way to to do that really is to uh, we'll do go to Google Maps and we'll find a spot on Google Maps that correlates to this map and I think probably something easy if you look here at Silverband Road coming down where it meets the Grampians Road here Grampians Tourist Road I think that would be um, right on Lake Belfield okay so that's the spot we'd look for so let's go to Google Maps so I've got Google Maps open here at the Silverband uh, Road Grampians Road intersection and if we can get the coordinates uh, from Google Maps we can transpose those into our Aussie Explorer and see if it uh, lines up with what we what we hope it would be. So if I left click on that intersection, the coordinates come down here, come up at the bottom here, and they're in metric format. Uh, Google Maps is a bit hard to muck around with metric formats, but if I left click on that, it gives me the coordinates in a much easier format for us on the on the left hand side. So we've got 37 degrees, 11 minutes, 47.1 seconds and 142 degrees 32 minutes 31.8 seconds now we go back to uh, our Google Maps uh, sorry our Aussie Explorer now I can hold the um, cursor over there because as I said you move it round and the coordinates change up the top if I sort of ho hover it over that intersection and have a look up in the top left hand corner we've got 37 11 and 7 nine zero so we've got and also that and that's a um, decimal it's 11.79 it's not 790 seconds obviously because there's only 60 seconds in each minute so it's 11.790 and the other one's 142 32.538 so that's probably close enough I mean the um, the seconds themselves really don't uh, don't mean a lot it's the 37 11 and the 142 32 that are important and we're very close but there's another way of just checking that I quite often I'll just go up here click left click on the waypoint and drop a waypoint anywhere on the map it doesn't matter where and then when it turns to the hand if I click on that I can actually edit the waypoint I'll edit the position and now I can actually put in exactly what we got from the Google map coordinates so it was 37 degrees 11 minutes and it was 47.1 seconds now because Aussie Explorer wants this as a decimal it doesn't have the another third box to put the seconds in it's minutes and then decimal minutes so that's quite okay because it's 47.1 seconds and if we divide that by 60 we get 0 0.79 so it's 11.79 minutes and this one we want 142 32 point and it was 31.8 seconds so to 31.8 divided by 60 is 0.53 so 32.53 so that's I'll save that and that's going to be the position of the waypoint uh, just to make it a little bit easier to see I'll just increase the size and I'll change the color make it yellow and hit save and it should if everything's okay it should end up here and there it is right on that intersection not the uh, not the yellow box but the dot and it's pretty close
So that's telling you that uh, Google Maps has given you the coordinates of that intersection, and that's exactly what we've got on our on our map. So, in other words, the maps to scale, uh, and if you were tracking along in your in your van, or your car, uh, and you had uh, your tablet running, that's where you'd be, spot on. So, it's a really good test to do. That's how you turn a paper map into an Aussie Explorer map. If you have the coordinate uh, markings on the edges and you have the um, the grid lines. If you don't, there is a way to do it if you've just got a map that's got none of that information and that'll be the subject of the next video.